Welcome to our channel Sankalp Study Success. In this video, we are going to learn about the classification of states, which is a very small video in which we are going to see about different terminology of number of states and also we are going to see different types of matrices present here. Now let us go into the first thing which is classification of states. Here a state J is reachable from I if there is a path leading from I to J. That means what? There are two numbers I comma J. If there is a path moving from I to J, then you can say that I is reachable to J. And also if there is a path from J to I. See that means we are having a path from I to J and also we are having a path from J to I. Then you are going to say that there is a communication between I and J. That means if one person is talking to other person, if there is one person here talking to another person and if this person also talks to this person, then that means there is a two-way communication. So in the same way, I there is a path from I to J and also there is another path from J to I. Then you can say that I is reachable from J and also J is reachable from I. This is the second point. Now, if, if the state I communicates with state J, there are three states I, J and K. See here, if the state I can communicate with J and if state J can communicate with K, then automatically state I can communicate with K, K state. That means, which is also, you can say that here, if I is communicating with J and J is communicating with K and if you see this diagram, then you can easily say that I is communicating with K. So now, there is a state S in a Markov chain which is a closed set if no state outside S is reachable from any state in S. That means there is a state S. You are going from S to S only. That means you are having a self loop on S. Right? Which means what? S is reachable from any state in S. Now if you see this diagram or if you consider this example, there are five states 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 which are numbered as 1, 1 to 5 only and now if you draw the transition probability matrix to this transition diagram then you will get it as it is a 5 by 5 matrix because there are 5 states you are going to take 5 by 5 matrix and here for the state 1 let us consider the states 1 by 1 starting from 1 there, there is a transition or there is a move from 1 to 1 itself with a value of 0 0.7. Here we are having 0 0.7. Now, from one, there is a path from 1 to 2 with a value of 0 0.3. But there is no path from 1 to any other paths. That means there is only two paths from 1 which is going to 1 itself and also it is going to 2. So, the remaining all the three different states that is 3, 4 and 5 will have the value 0. So we are done with the first state. Now coming to the second state. From second state there are paths to, to itself and also it is going to 1 and it also going to 3. That means from 2 we are having for 1, for 2 and also for 3 with their respective values. But there is no value or there is no path from 2 to 4 and 5. So we are considering them as 0. Now, if you consider state 3, so it is having from state 3, you can go to state 3 again and also from state 3, you can go to state 2. So, if you see here, you cannot go from state 3 to state 1 or 4 or 5. So, you are considering for 1, 4 and 5, you are considering it as 0 and for, from the state 3 to 2, there is a value of 0 0.2 and from state 3 to again 3 itself, you are having the value 0 0.8. So, in this way, we are also going to take the values for 4 and 5. So, this is nothing but the different types of states. That means from one state, we are going to the other state or for our state, we are coming to our state itself. So, these are the classification of states and here you can see that 3, 5, 1, 3 is reachable from state 1, right? Because 
3 it is reachable from 1 because if you come to 1 to 2 and also from 2 to 3 in this this path from that is from 1 to 2 and from 2 to 3 this path you if you can use this path then you can reach from 1 to 3 so 3 is reachable from state 1 whereas state 5 is not reachable from state 1 because there is no connection between 1 2 3 and 4 and 5 states so in this case state 5 is not reachable from state 1 and state 1 and 2 communicate with each other you can see this because there is a path from 1 to 2 and there is also a path from 2 to 1 so that's the reason we are going to say that both the states communicate with each other so the see there is a reason also here which is given clearly there is a path from 1 to 2 and also vice versa so here 1 2 and 3 are the closed sets and the 4 and 5 are the closed sets right because there is a closed set here for 1 2 and 3 there is a closed set and for 4 and 5 there is a closed set so now coming to the next point which is absorbing state here in the absorbing state when will you call a state as an absorbing state here if p of i to itself that means again p of i to i only that is p i i this value if it is 100 percent that means exactly one then you can say that the given state is the absorbing state so if you see the transition probability matrix here you are having for one one there is a value one here but and also for 5 5 the value is 1 and you have to check the values only for p of i and i it should not be p of 2 1 or 3 3 uh, 3 3 is considered because i and i which is same but 5 4 these values are not considered in the absorbing state we have to see only the principal diagonal values so here state 1 and state 5 state 1 and state 5 are the absorbing states and the other states are the non-absorbing states so again if you go theoretically whenever we enter an absorbing state we never leave the state that means if there are, we have concluded that 1 and 5 are the absorbing states so if you see in the diagram 1 from 1 we are not going anywhere but from other sides we are coming to 1 we are coming to 1 but we are not going from 1 and also if you see 5 we are coming to 5 from different state but we are not going from 5 so that's the reason you can say that it are, it is an absorbing state so here state 1 comma 5 are absorbing states and the remaining 2 3 and 4 are nothing but non absorbing states so this is the another thing and now coming to the transient and recurrent state if you see here what is a transient state and what is recurrent state if we learn transient state then the exactly reverse of it is nothing but the recurrent state so now there is a state i which is a transient state if there exists a state j that is reachable from i that means j should be reachable from i but i should not be reachable from j if you consider i and j j should be reachable from i that means from i to j there is a path but there is no path from j to i in reverse so that situation is nothing but a transient situation or you can say that it is a transient state if you see here there are five states one two three four and five here if we see for 2 from 2 there is a path to, to 1 but there is no path from 1 to 2 that means 2 is a transient state so if you see 3 there is a path from 3 to you can go from 3 to 2 and 2 to 1 but you can't come from 1 to 3 in any of the ways so this is a transient state if you consider 1 and 5 see here 1 from for the 1 we are coming to the 1 but we are not going from 1 that means it is a recurrent state see from one state to another state if you can if you are reachable from i to j but you are not reachable in reverse 
then that situations or the that states are known as transient states and the remaining states are known as recurrent states if any state is non transient then you can consider that state as the recurrent state so this is about transient state and recurrent state here you can conclude it as 2 3 and 4 are transient state whereas 1 and 5 are the recurrent states because from 4 you can go to 5 but from 5 you can't come to 4 in the same way from 4 you can go to 1 but from 1 you cannot come to 4 so that's the reason we are saying 2 3 and 4 are the transient states and 1 and 5 are the recurrent states now coming to periodic and aperiodic states here in there is a if there is a transition diagram from each and every state you are going to visit every state present in the diagram but with a value of k that means the if we take an example of 1 2 and 3 and there is a way from 1 to 2 with the value of 1 and also there is a way from 2 to 3 with the value of 1 and we are going from 3 to 1 with the value of 1 then from 1 we can reach 2 and also we can reach 3 and also again we can reach 1 that means from 1 we can come to 1 by cons in between by visiting two other states which are 2 and 3 so the value of k becomes 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is equals to 3 this is the k value now if you take state 2 from state 2 you can again reach the state 2 by going to 3 then by going to 1 and again from 1 you can come to 2 that means from the state 2 we are again reaching the state 2 but the k value is again 3 so if you see the definition the state i with the period k is greater than 1 that means we got this k value as 3 if k is the smallest number such that all path leading from state i back to state j ha, that means back to state i that means we are going from 1 and again after reaching some of the states we are again coming to the same state 1 if you consider the another state 2 or 3 we are again coming to the same state which is 2 and 3 so which this process of moving from one state to another state by taking the values of k are known as periodic states and also there is one more point here where absorbing states are aperiodic if any state is absorbing if any state is an absorbing state then it is a periodic state so if there is an absorbing state then automatically we will consider that state as aperiodic if it is not absorbing then you will check whether from one state we are again reaching to the same state or not by reaching each and every state present in the given diagram that is about periodic and aperiodic states now let us see what is an ergodic markov chain you can say any markov chain as ergodic if that Markov chain is not transient and it is not periodic and communicate with each other then the chain is said to be ergodic that means what it is not transient we need to remember two points here it is not transient and it is not periodic that means what if it is not periodic then it can be absor absorbing state right because all the aperiodic states are absorbing that means it is absorbing so you need to remember these two points in order to define ergodic markov chain which is the first one that ergodic markov chain should not be transient and it should not be a periodic state if these two conditions satisfy then that transition diagram will be ergodic so here there is an example see here there is an example this should not be transient that means i if i is from i to j if there is a path there should be there shouldn't be any path from j to i then that is nothing but the transient right but here if you see from 1 to 2 there is a path and from 2 to 1 there is a path 
there is a path from 2 to 3 and also there is a path from 3 to 2 that means there is transient it is not transient right so this is considered as ergodic here it should be transient if it is transient then it would have it should it would it won't be having another path from j to i but here if you see we can move from 1 to 2 and you can again move from 2 to 1 so which is not transient you can move from 2 to 3 and also you can move from 3 to 2 which is not transient again so if it is not transient and if it is not periodic then our given example is nothing but ergodic markov chain so it is ergodic and now coming to the last one which is irreducible here when a state is said to be irreducible every state can be reached from any state then the chain is said to be irre irreducible that means what you are reaching from any state you can reach to that state if every state can be reached from any other state see here one can be reached by one and also one can be reached by two if you take two two can be reached by two and also two can be reached by one in some in some way then your this transition diagram or this mat uh, transition probability matrix is known as irreducible if you draw the transition probability matrix for this then that is known as irreducible or for this also it is an irreducible so if you consider the second example also from 1 to 1 there is a way and again you can reach from 1 to 2 there is another way and from 1 to 3 also can be reached right because from 1 to 2 there is a path and from 2 to 3 there is a path and from 3 to 2 there is a path and from 2 to 1 there is a path that means we are going to reach our own state from the other state so from any state we can reach our own state so then that condition is nothing but irreducible and it is known as an irreducible state or the irreducible matrix if you consider the transition probability matrix for the given diagram so these are some of the different types of states which we have which are some of them which we have learnt are irreducible ergodic absorbing periodic aperiodic transient and recurrent so these are also very important where you can concentrate only for the one mark questions because as it is an r22 syllabus we are going to have only one mark questions so these maximum these can be given for the one mark questions in our external exams so thank you for watching the video